To further push the visual quality in your projects, Roam includes parallax occlusion mapping shaders. By default, materials in Roam are either set to standard shader or one of the wetness or puddle shaders included in the pack. We can switch to a parallax shader to get the cool effect. Let's go to quantum theory, parallax mapping. So here's my brick horizontal material, which is using now the parallax mapping shader. By changing the height scale, you're specifying the depth of the surface. So we can go really high, and obviously that's wrong, but just to show you what it can do. So we'll just bring this out a little bit. Total height bias clamps the output, but you'll usually just keep a set of one. Transition Christmas allows for a sort of blurring effect. And that might be useful for fur or grass materials. 128 is a good default for pretty much everything else. And then samples adds fidelity to the parallax surface. The higher the value, the more natural it looks, but the more expensive it becomes on the GPU. So you got to be careful with this. If you should need more samples, all you have to do is open up the shader file and edit the shader parameters max range. Let's look at some other materials real quick. Brick horizontal, let's go to brick stone. So here it's set up standard. Let's switch it to parallax. And you can see the bricks in the grout extruding outward. Let's do cobblestone. This one's really cool. Looks nice on the ground. We have the roundness of the rocks coming up. It's looking nice. And we'll just do flooring A. It's more of a hard stone tile. Has some grout on the grout on the ground as well. Cool. And just one final tip. If you wanted to incorporate the shader into your games, just make sure you're using LEDs on the meshes. Uh, the parallax effect is only noticeable at close to medium ranges, but you'll be paying the GPU cost as long as it's rendering. So you could be all the way back here, and parallax is still enabled, so that's just uh, a needless cost. Make sure you use LEDs that use a less complex shader.